This is the University of Wisconsin's primate research laboratory. Here, scientists are working to unravel the behavior of lower primates, monkeys, in order to gain more understanding of the most complicated primate of them all, man. Dr. Harry F. Harlow is director of the laboratory. He's an internationally known psychologist who, for the past 35 years, has been studying primate behavior. His credentials include membership in the National Academy of Science, the American Academy of Arts and Sciences, and the American Philosophical Society. Since 1958, Dr. Harlow's research has been primarily concerned with affectional systems in primates. In other words, love as a laboratory study. He believes by carefully selecting the systems and by proper experimental situations, those studies can provide effective analogs for human behavior. I'm David Prowett, science editor for National Educational Television. With me is Dr. Harry Harlow to discuss his work. Dr. Harlow, whatever led you to pick love as a research study? What's your operational definition of love for the laboratory? Studying such a complex emotion, though, can monkey behavior be a true analog to human love? Your first major study was in the mother surrogates, I believe, the cloth and wire mothers. We have the experimental film on that. Uh, why don't we take a look and you can explain some of the research findings that you made. Well, now, that was the infant-mother relationship that you that. were studying. Currently, however, your researches have expanded, as these pictures, I think, illustrate. Could you explain your, the scope of your current study? What does this consist of, Doctor? The, uh, the, just the general feeling for a, uh, a father for his, his immediate family group? These seem to be uh, uh, sequential systems, layered systems of love almost, one building on the other. Is that true? Why did you pick these five discrete systems, Doctor? I know that you have several experimental situations, but the primary one seems to be this social isolation experiment where we have some clinical film from yes. your laboratory. Well, I know you've taken some of your isolants and put them in uh, play situations, in social situations at the uh, playpen at the uh, right. research center. Uh, could we look at some of that now? Right. Doctor, what about when they grow up? Do they ever make any sort of a uh, recovery? I think, as a matter of fact, we have some of your film on the maternal behavior of the monkey. Doctor, is the monkey mother's uh, ability to let the child go, or actually to push the child out, is this perhaps a, uh, a glandular function? Does she lose interest in the child at that time, or is it weaned? Human mothers, too. Doctor, we've seen examples of the infant-mother relationship, and we've right. seen examples of the mother-infant. Now, I know that you have some peer groups that you put together, specifically who didn't have these advantages. Perhaps we could take a look at this film. In reading your literature, Doctor, there doesn't seem to be much data yet uh, on the paternalistic functions of love. Are you doing any work with it? Why are you dealing with uh, the lower primates, Doctor, rather than with the chimpanzee and the higher ones, which are supposedly a little closer uh, psychologically to man? What do you think your researches mean in terms of good mothering for human infants? What about children who are institutionalized and, in effect, uh, receiving some sort of social deprivation? This. Uh, presumes that the, uh, that the child is taken out before one year, a good prognosis. Thank you very much, Dr. Harlow. This is David Prowett for NET in Madison, Wisconsin.